Personnel selected, Dave, toy restoration expert and YouTuber. Channel code name, ToyColoy2. Your mission, to collect 21,905 Miles Mayhem figures. Line them up head to toe creating, a mile of mayhem. Hello and welcome to Toy Ploy 2 and an update on the Mile of Mayhem Guinness World Record project. In the previous video I showed you what my plans were and how many Miles Mayhems I had and I also had a few little questions that I thought I'd ask you and lots of you have asked me questions so I thought I'd do an update today and answer some of those questions and also give you some more details on things that I've found out about Miles Mayhem and whether this project is actually possible and also show you some of the donations that I have received in. So let's get straight on with the video. Boy, boy, boy. The first question was, how much of a difference would it make if Miles Mayhem had his arms up in the air? Currently I'm working it out with Miles with his arms down to the side, but if we raise his arms up it does actually save a little bit. But it's not really something I'm planning to do, I think it looks like a better challenge if his arms are down by his side. So currently Miles is 7.35 centimetres tall with his arms down, but if we raise his arms in the air that makes him 8.13 centimetres tall, which does actually give us quite a saving. It would save us 1,299 Miles Mayhem. So currently for the arms by the side we need 21,905 miles mayhems but if he has his arms raised above his head we need 19,796. So it is a bit of a saving but in the grand scheme of things it's not that much of a saving and as I say I think it's a better challenge if we have his arms by his side because it's just a more natural pose for an action figure. Next up I was asked how much this is going to weigh, so once I've collected all 21,905 miles mayhems how much is all of that going to weigh? And again that's a fairly straightforward thing to work out. So first thing we've got to do is weigh a few miles mayhems to check that they all weigh the same. And it turns out that every single miles mayhem I have weighs 10 grams, so really not that much. And if we times that by 21,905 that gives us 219.05 kilograms. So that actually isn't that much of a weight. That's it's about the weight of four average sized people so it's really not going to be too much of a weight and certainly something that we can easily move around. Now I do actually have a question that I'm going to ask back to you guys and that's where do all the masks go? Because as you can see I've already started collecting quite a few of these figures but I very rarely actually find a mask for Miles Mayhem. So where do they all go? My guess is they get chucked away or sucked up vacuum cleaners or something like that but maybe you have other suggestions so leave those in the comments below. One of my big questions from the first video was are there actually that many Miles Mayhems in the world and I was trying to find out some information from former Kenner employees as to how many of these figures were produced and I have to say I've not actually managed to speak to anyone from Kenner but I was sent a very useful bit of information by at it pays to be geek on Instagram. He sent me a screenshot of a listing that had appeared on eBay which was from a former Kenner employee selling some paperwork that he had about the mask toy line and in that screenshot it gave some information about another Kenner mask product and how many had been created. So as you can see it says that the Volcano van which was released in 1986 for that they were intending to have 400,000 units shipped and I would say that's one of the more expensive of the vehicles because you can see here that it's listed at 2049 so that's a sort of a pretty expensive price. So my thinking is that for the single figures of Miles Mayhem or the double packs of the figures they actually had far more than 400,000 of those produced but if anyone has any more information on this then please do let me know because this is just a guess at this moment but I'm reckoning that if they're making 400,000 of a larger vehicle they probably made nearer a million of this figure so my challenge looks like it is really doable at this moment. Since the last video I've been contacted by some fans of the channel to say that they have a few Miles Mayhems that they'd like to donate so let's take a look at what's been sent in. A Mile of Mayhem Unboxing this package has come in from Steve and I believe it contains a couple of uh, Miles Mayhems and maybe a few other pieces so let's open it up and see what he sent over. So the note says, Dear Sir, hello, hope all is good with you. Just some bits and pieces I thought you might find useful. I wasn't going to include my address, but I've just seen your new stickers and I kind of need that awesomeness in my life. Cheers, Steve. Well, if you haven't seen the Mile of Mayhem stickers, let me show them now. They are these lovely glittery stickers and anyone who sends me in a Miles Mayhem will be getting one of these uh, quite limited edition stickers. So uh, that is what I'm going to be sending back to Steve. So let's see what else he has put in here open this up. 
I can see a few pieces that is well stuck together. So what have we got? Oh, I can immediately see one Miles Mayhem, one of the uh, beige versions. And then we've got a few other pieces. So we've got that, which is the uh, front windscreen to the Mask Piranha. We have that, that's uh, one of the uh, landing gear pieces and sort of gun pieces to the uh, Mask Switchblade. So that's a Miles May Mayhem vehicle. And then we have, oh, there's three figures here. We have got standard blue Miles Mayhem with a little bit of uh, headwear there. We've got the beige version. And then we have also got a little stowaway there. That is a cliff dagger. So amazing. Those will have to go straight in the Mile of Mayhem pot. Thanks, Steve. This is excellent stuff. This package arrived. And as you can see, it's addressed to the Mile of Mayhem appeal care of Toy Ploy. Uh, there's no other information on it. So I'm not quite sure who it's from. So we're going to have to open this up and see who sent it in. Oh, wow, look, there's a whole load in here. This is a full on selection. Let me see who sent this in. So this is from uh, James. It says, hi, Dave, since your recent video, Matt Tracker has been extremely busy rounding up just sort of 30 inches of mayhem. Blimey, that's a lot of mayhem to add to your ongoing world record attempt. As we recently discussed on social media, your website and videos continue to be a huge benefit to the toy collecting and fixing community. So please consider Matt's effort as a big thank you. Wishing you the best of luck with the record attempt, small steps. And I will, of course, continue to follow your progress with great interest. Keep those great videos coming and thanks once again James. Well James this is amazing this is a big jump in the amount of uh, miles and mayhems I've got. So on the top we have a Matt Tracker he unfortunately can't go in the mile of mayhem but he can certainly look on from the sideline so there is a Matt Tracker and then we have yeah, blimey, what is that? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten miles mayhems. That is quite a big jump and it's going to take me well over the first milestone, which is uh, my own height in miles mayhems. I'm at about 185 in height and I think this should take me, yeah, to about, whoa, it's going to be about two and a half metres, something like that. It's quite a massive jump. So there we go, look at them all, all those lovely miles mayhems. That is a massive, massive step in the uh, right direction. So James, I really do have to say a massive thank you to you. I'm going to send you a whole load of Toy Ploy bits in the post, including the exclusive uh, Mile of Mayhem sticker, but I'm going to include a whole load of other pieces for you as well. So thanks for these. Here we have another mystery package. Well, it's not a mystery because I know what's inside, but I just don't know who it's from. So uh, let's open this one up and see who sent it over. OK, so this one is from uh, Captain Fletch, the Galaxy Raider, who messaged me on Instagram. This is another one to add to the uh, collection. Gets us one closer to the mile. So thanks, Captain Fletch. This package is from uh, Trevor in Australia. So uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. We have one little Miles Mayhem there hiding away in a baggie. Let's take a quick look at him. There we go, a lovely Miles Mayhem, a little bit floppy on the legs and certainly well played with and well loved, but another one to the uh, collection. And we have a note here that says, Hi Dave, Toy Ploy Mile of Mayhem Project. Here's my contribution. I know it's not practical to be sending figures like these across the globe, but it appealed to me to be a small part of the project. Like I said in my email, I'm an action man and GI Joe collector, and thanks to your videos, I've been able to save many items that I previously thought were a write-off. Anyway, I'll keep looking for more Mayhem figures and send them if I find any. Keep the videos coming. Thanks, Trevor. And on the bottom of his letter, there are some A stars, and if you're an action man collector, you'll know exactly what those are. So I've got three stars to add to my little leaflet. One day I can send off for a prize. So thanks, Trevor. That is absolutely fantastic. Another Miles Mayhem to go in the pot. Boy, boy, boy. A Mile of Mayhem stats update. So that's a total of 17 new Miles Mayhems to add to the collection. Let's go to the spreadsheet and see what that does to all of the stats. So originally we had 19 Miles Mayhems. Let's add 17 to that. That gives us a total of 36 Miles Mayhems, including three of the Venom's Revenge beige versions. And it means that we only have 21,869 Miles Mayhems to go. But what does that mean for the length that we have achieved so far? So in centimetres, that is 264.6 centimetres, which 
which is 2.646 meters. I'm about 185, so I've now got more than my height in Miles Mayhems, which is already a pretty impressive achievement. But it does mean that there's still an awful long way to go. But it really is a very good start for this project. And how much do these Miles Mayhems weigh? Well, I showed you at the start that each figure is 10 grams. So that means we have 0.36 kilograms or 360 grams worth of Miles Mayhems so far. Boy, boy, boy. So there we go, that is it for this update on the Mile of Mayhem project. At the moment you can see there is a really long way to go, but the more I look into this and the more I chat with people, the more I think that it is actually going to be a possibility to get one mile's worth of Miles Mayhem lined up. It may take many, many years, but that's the fun of this project. I'm in no rush to get this done, I'm just enjoying the process. And you never know, one day Toy Ploy may have its own Guinness World Record. So thanks to everybody for getting in touch and thanks to everyone who has uh, donated so far. I'm going to go back on the hunt for more Miles Mayhem figures and I'll see you in the next video.